have had some technical problem. Problem, problem. Hello and welcome to this special episode of Stream Geeks Live. My name is Paul Richards. I am the author of the Accelerated Broadcast Club curriculum, which is now available on Amazon, on Kindle, soon to be available on audiobook via Audible. And we're going to be giving away the digital PDF version for free from now through NAB. And I'm really excited about this project. I met with broadcast clubs across the United States and the world. I flew to California. I took a train to New York City. And I met with so many great faculty members who are really making it happen when it comes to live streaming and broadcasting. And I was able to really talk to them over long periods of time. In fact, a funny story, here at the Stream Geeks, every year we have an event called the Streaming Awards, which anyone can join. And it was very interesting to me to see that a lot of schools, including the Griswold School Elementary School, actually uh, in the top ranks for one of the most voted for shows that we had. So uh, I ended up interviewing some of the students on the 2018 Streaming Awards, and I started to realize that students are really being engaged in live streaming and broadcast in all kinds of different levels, whether it's school announcements, whether it's live streaming sports. And I wanted to bring some of not only the great success stories that I was hearing to light inside of this book, but also include a lot of the learning that I've gone through personally here at Stream Geeks. We kind of started as amateurs ourselves and worked our way up to a professional level and it takes time. And I really hope that this book will help accelerate learning for students in the broadcast club, and also as a faculty member, uh, maybe someone in, involved with the club, to help you kind of think about the curriculum and what, what things you want to be including. This entire book comes with a free online course as well that will help students start to accelerate learning and kind of think about uh, what is happening in the live streaming industry. So let's cut the test. We've got some really exciting stuff for you, and uh, we'll, we'll show you what, what's coming up next. All right, thanks, Paul. Congrats on your new book, Boss. There's a multitude of different ways for you guys in the chat to access that book. We're going to talk about that today. We're also going to deep dive a little bit more into the type of content that you can expect from this kind of all-inclusive guide on learning about broadcasting in schools. It's an exciting time. In fact, our whole team here at Stream Geeks is just about to head to Las Vegas for the world's largest live streaming and broadcast show. So we're really excited about that. And by the way, during NAB, this exciting time for everyone in the industry, the book will be completely free at ptzoptics.com slash ABC2. Make sure you head over there after the show and grab that for your free version. We want to also share with you guys a little bit more of our NAB prep testing. So today we are going to do a little bit of IRL streaming again in real life. And we hope that you guys will come along for our journey with that. I think this will be a really eye-opening show for what is possible in live streaming and broadcast because we're going to start in this studio, but we're actually going to go completely mobile with what's called an IRL backpack, an in-real-life backpack, and go into our town here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. And I think as a student, teacher, or anyone involved in streaming, what we're doing with cloud-based video production is really cutting edge, and it's going to be a fun show to watch. So we'll have some new product announcements as well. And I think that's it, except for new graphics. I wanted to show off some cool new graphics that we're going to be demonstrating today in the cloud. So that's take a look be at this. Part of our testing. You'll see this in a minute here. We've got like some information. This is going to be live video here. So this will be live. And then down here, we have information about the live shows and announcements that's happening at NAB. You guys might even catch an early announcement before anyone else um, gets to see it. So. Once that's uh, done, uh, we'll, I want to go to the whiteboard really quickly and show you guys how all this works before we jump right into our live demonstration. All right, so here's my whiteboard. And first of all, I wanted to explain what we're streaming. So right now, we are using vMix to make the production that you're seeing right now. But we're also going to be using a LiveView Solo. 
And that is a cellular bonding wireless system. And these are both streaming via RTMP to the cloud. And as so many things in technology are moving to the cloud, this is going to be something that's going to give us a lot of really awesome new functionality. So we're using a service called Easy Live, Go Easy Live. And this allows us to switch between our studio and our live stream mix. So in the cloud, we can have videos and we have some videos already published with those new graphics that I was showing you. So our new graphics kind of look like this. There's some sidebar information, some lower information, and we're gonna, we could stitch at any time, even right now, if you, if you wanted to try it, Mike, you can go ahead, just for demonstration purposes. We could pick our vMix stream and insert it in the cloud directly into um, cloud-based graphics. Now, when we go live on the Live View Solo, we're going to have graphics also associated with that. So we'll show you a couple different graphics uh, portions. And it's one of the really cool things about Broadcast Clubs is if you're interested in social media, if you're interested in graphic design, there's so many different types of things here. This has got animations, video animations, video graphics, cloud computing, and even we're now working with computer programming. So very interesting stuff. Then finally, just to tie this all back together, if you're watching us live on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch, from the cloud, that's we stream back out to them. So by inserting the cloud in the middle, we're giving ourselves a really great way to have all this extra functionality plus redundancy. So if something happens with we lose internet access or if our live use solo, we get hit by a uh, lightning bolt, let's just say. I don't know. Uh, lightning bolt comes down and let's our, hope not. it doesn't hit us, but it just electrocutes our, our backpack. Um, then we, our stream to YouTube and Facebook does not get cut because we have the cloud as redundancy. So some interesting things we're playing with here. We're going to show you this live today. It's going to be awesome. Let's, let's show it off. All right. So let's get started. So that is the start of it. Now, uh, really quickly, Melissa's going to come over here and she's going to show us the live streaming backpack that we're going to, to go into. And um, pick up your free copy, by the way, guys. Free copy. I spent a lot, a lot of hours on this book for third months. Book. My third book. And I really hope that What's you guys What's the next book going to be about? I've already got it in the plans. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And by the way, this is also for, available for free on Kindle. So this will be available for free if you, if you have a Kindle. Kindles are great. One of the great things about Kindle is they take the book, they make it available, obviously, in a small form factor. And... You can, uh, it links to all the different um, keywords. So if there's something that you don't understand, it actually automatically links it to Wikipedia. But just in case you're in the mood for learning, there's an entire glossary in the back as well. All right, Melissa, come on over here. I want to show this off. So Melissa is coming to Vegas with us to be in the NAB show. Roomy. This is the backpack. So really quickly, let me just pull this thing out real quick just to show everybody. Here it is here. Now, this is streaming right now. So it looks a little crazy. We've got a wireless setup here and a wireless backpack. We're streaming at nine megabits per second right now. That's crazy. That's like higher quality than our VMIX stream is coming in right now. Um, <laughs> look at that. Almost 10 megabits. So it should be a really high quality. And we can go ahead and switch over and uh, go mobile. So it's going to be really interesting. Thank you for coming on this journey with us. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Are you guys ready? All right. So in the cloud, we are going to switch over to this stream. And we'll give a quick look at the setup as well. So all right, we did it. So, uh, Melissa, come over here really quick. I want to show the audience this part of the journey. So here's our little studio. This is where Mike does all his mixing and everything. And you can see here that Mike has the graphics next to the, um, the show. So you can go back and forth between full screen and kind of a picture in picture and do all this stuff in the cloud. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah. So like if you, if you click that, for example, that, that's the, the low. So it's basically in layers. So this is the lowest layer. We can change the bottom layer. 
Um, this is the second layer, which has our two RTMP streams, and then there's even a top layer. So we're going to go completely live with you guys to show off how this works. Also to give Melissa a little bit of practice on how it, what it's like to be a cameraman, IRL, a walking cameraman. IRL producer. Mind so, you, air quotes. Air quotes. <laughs> so let's rock and roll. What do you guys think? You ready? Let's do this. Let's do it. All right. Now, yeah, is, now is Mike coming with us or are you I'm staying gonna here? I'll just stay here. All right, Mike's going to be the producer. <laughs> We're pouting. Got the chat? We had a technical difficulty because I'm bad. Okay. Sounds good. All right, well, yeah, I, I have technical. Uh, I had technical difficulties and I'm bad. Okay, I think we're still okay. Yeah, we should be fine. Because, well, sometimes the uh, the live view shuts off when it doesn't have a camera, but it looks like we're good. We're good. All right, we're good. All right, take two. All There's right. Tess. It's me. And then we need Polly here. I thought if you if you dropped your in the, the video feed, it, um, something else happened. We're good. Oh, Paul's got to get his got to right. get his jacket. And I'm always cold, so... I need my sunglasses. My One part of this, the, the, uh, the setup that I didn't explain, but you probably have seen it in our other shows, is that this is our podcasting studio. This is connected over a local area network using the NewTek NDI, which is talked about in the book. Um, but, uh, so we're going to be go getting here, too. So we've never actually done, as far as I know, a uh, studio stream to a mobile stream back to the studio... Back to the podcast. Well, that's going to be today. So that would be today if we, if we get that sunny far. Yes, it is sunny but cold. For those of you wondering um, where to chat, I'll be monitoring the YouTube chat. So go to Stream Geeks YouTube if you want me to be able to respond to a question or comment. I'll, I'll look on, on uh, Facebook, okay? Okay, Paul's going to be monitoring Facebook. <laughs> Let me pull it up here. You guys get to really see Westchester all the time if you're watching us. It's pretty cool. It's a beautiful town. It feels like I have a GoPro on. That's it. Yeah. yeah we got the question, what camera is it? It's Sony, and I said a bunch of numbers and letters. <laughs> HDR A A <laughs> Hi, that's Dave Fairman. A S300. Kind of a town I, I, boss one of the man. About, if you will. about Sony and stuff is that I, I love Paul Sony behind now. you. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! On camera, in, camera injuries. So Ted is saying, by the way, thank you, Ted. Ted says there's no reason elementary students should not have ex exposure and experience to modern media like video, live streaming, and such. Moving image media is one of the languages kids should be exposed to, has been exposed to since birth. How do we both have these sunglasses on? Should be providing education, training, real world experiences to learn how to write and communicate well with this type of language. Wow. Thank you, Ted. We're all matching with sunglasses, but I have the black pair of PTT optics. There we do have the Ab mouth. Abigail wants us to go to Westchester University. Ooh, that's, that's a hike. That's uh, a the, hike. The uh, the graphics look great. Oh, Mike is the full screen. Woo! See, that's the cloud-based graphics in action. All right, now we're going to cross the street. Yeah, I know. I, I feel no like... No walking backwards. I know, the walking backwards. Give me so you energy. have to kind of, like, look back a little bit so they can hear you. I know. Like, you kind of have to talk to the camera. <laughs> And this is great, like, I, this is like, it's, it's basically like a walk in the park, because we're walking right outside our office. The cellular towers are right over there. We, are, we have already scoped all of this out. But, in, at the, but also, this is really good uh, practice for Melissa, who, you know, is the starting to we'll The fixed mount is looking good. The shot looks great. It looks a lot better than last time. Because we had the mount backwards. Hi, Mom. 
saying to go to Starbucks. We go to Starbucks. She always says we should go to Starbucks. Then she's going to ask me to pick her up a chai latte. Oh, they're my favorite, Darlene. It's an iced chai latte, too. Oh, girl. Down the road. Yeah. Yeah. My mom Thank keeps you. up with us. We're, we, we do make typos sometimes, so we'll fix that. That's okay. Everyone makes typos. Everyone makes typos. In life and in literature. Yeah. We have the mouth the right way. We have it the right way instead of backwards yeah, I, last I time. I, I mean, I'm looking at this. It looks really crisp. Mike's like switching the graphics. Woo! Which was, this is like, look Thanks, at that. Thanks, Mike. That's what our NAD show is going to look like. like imagine yeah. we're going to be walking around the NAD show. It's going to have all that great custom graphics. Excellent. Thanks, Mike. These? I, I bought these when I first was setting up Wally, and I thought it was nice white, so I just have a ton of extra ones. Yeah. Um, so you have the black PTZ optics there. All right, so yeah, I mean, I I personally would rather just go to CBS and get like a, like a Gatorade. Oh my god. Because I, I don't like ca caffeine in the afternoon, so I'll be up all night, but it's up to you guys. I mean, it's we could go to CVS and Starbucks. <laughs> Well, we definitely need to, for testing purposes, we, we can go, go to CVS. We need to go into a building. To see the difference from outside to inside. And there'll be a lot less people in CVS than Starbucks. Ah. Sometimes Starbucks people want to write, like, poetry and stuff. And I, like, Do you know any history about these buildings that we can tell them? Well, this is the old courthouse here. You want to show that real quick? They're going to open up the fountain. That's where they have, like, the town Christmas tree and, you know, the fancy stuff like Ted's that. Ted's asking for a recap on the technology being used and audio back in the studio, the VMIC workstation, i.e., what's the backup? So, I, I'm, I'm doing a lot more whiteboarding in our presentations because I always want to take a step back. So, we talked about how there's two streams going to the cloud. One is this backpack. Now, ideally, this backpack would have a battery in it to charge everything. Yep. A live view solo unit, which is a cellular bonding technology, which can take like an AT&T. You saying fix the camera? What's wrong with it? I don't know. Pop it up a little. Hold uh, on. It's not. Turn it off. Perfect. Uh, this is great. This is really giving us like a feel for like what's gonna be like. Cause Mike's probably gonna be chatting with us. Like, hey, like when we're when we're at um, NAB. You know, either you or Mike's going to have to stay back in the producer uh -huh. desk. And you, know, you might have to text us and say, hey. Hey, something's happening. Something's happening. <laughs> um, so, the Live Solo is streaming. We have a HDMI camera connected to it. Just go. Okay. So, there's some construction going on in this town. So yeah. There's, look, uh, you can see the cellular towers right up there. I right, will probably get out of the way. <laughs> Um, so it's cellular, right? So we're doing cellular bonding to a really nice camera. It's giving a wide angle. Your hair's getting in front of the camera a little <laughs> I'm bit. I'm so sorry, people. Um, it's windy out here. <laughs> Anyone operating the camera needs to bun their hair. I'm sorry. Okay, well, there's something that we learned yep. for our checklist. This and, is why we're doing this. You, know, you pop the camera up a little bit. Show it. You know, now you can look at the footage you can see. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is just a great test. You gotta test this. Alright. Camera looks great, Mike said. So we're at CVS. Let's go this way. Let's go down the beauty aisle. That'll make um, Melissa and Tess feel a little bit more comfortable. In the, in Not Melissa, if you I knew Melissa at all. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So then, so this whole system, this backpack that Melissa is wearing, streams to the cloud. Generally, what most people do is they'll just stream it to Twitch. I know something we can buy while we're here that oh, we yeah. need at the office. Mm -hmm. You guys stole our air freshener. All right, let's get the vents. All right, let's get one. Okay. Um, do you so need bobby pins? A lot of times, when somebody takes I'll a stream like them. this, they'll just stream it to YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. But what we're doing is actually streaming to the cloud, which we talked about earlier in the show, and then mixing in the cloud. So once once this one stream gets to the cloud, we can stream it to five places. Mm -hmm. um, ten, possibly, right? And have a backup redundancy. Mm -hmm. as Without well. having separate streams and eating up a ton of bandwidth. And Ted's saying we're oh, looking good so. from California, so let's... Dang. Heck yeah. So let's get all the things we need for the office. Some of the things we don't really need, You guys need, get to come grocery anyway. shopping with us. 
And then, uh, some type of healthy drink. Ew. Should we get some more of these? Sounds awful. Air fresheners. I vote cookies. Okay, the guys like to steal our lovely trays. air this fresheners. Oh, it's my one. Get one half off. Just get two. If it's my one, get one half. Okay, let's do. All right, let us know in the chat. I'm going to pick these two. It'll take too long, probably, to get a response. Okay. We're going with clean linen and lavender and peach blossom. Ooh, fancy. All right, now I'm gonna get a nice little drink. <laughs> Can you say something about a chocolate smoothie of some sort? I'm kidding. <laughs> I like chocolate smoothie. Something that they say is healthy that's really not. Oh my god, look how healthy that looks. A monster? Look at that. Coconut water with pineapple. They have them with lime. How many sugars is in here? Only 21. <laughs> It's not bad. Why don't you try one of those, Tess? Or <laughs> get a vitamin water. Oh, vitamin water. I like, um, I don't know, I like these sometimes, too. Just, this is just like, uh, basically a tea. I'm good. You I'm sure good. you don't want anything? I like soda water. Then get some soda water. Like, like a, oh, soda water. And we'll get Michael one because I know he likes. Yeah, get him one too. So do I. I'll get myself a like vitamin water. Actually, I'm gonna get one of these. Looks better. Tropical coconut. It's only got five mm. calories. Don't forget to get some antioxidants, guys. We have to keep our our um. We have to keep everything good before we get to. Uh, all right, great. Okay. okay. All right. Well, let's continue. Excuse me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yep. Well, you just have to quietly walk across. Take a pic of the camera, but it's set up perfect. All right, I'm going to take a picture of this camera because apparently it's set up perfectly. Thanks, Mike. See, this is such good testing because we don't want to be going. To it's going to be in like testing this while we're walking and. You know, guns blazing. I think, I think it's because we had the mountain backwards. Who remembers these? It is definitely. I used to rock one of these. What is that? Carly to the front, please. Carly to the front. What? I used to rock those early two thousand. Should I get that for my daughter? She probably would love that. They're they're the funnest. Should I get this for my daughter? Because she's small. That's too big for her. Yeah. Look at that. It stretches. Laura will remember these. It's for a large person. Oh, I remember them, but I've never like worn them. So one of the things we always do is obviously testing, trying new things, really for our own marketing purposes and our own streaming and recording uh, purposes, but we never forget, this is the thing that separates us from most other companies, to document the process, mm -hmm. ask question, ask the audience for questions, and put that, make that available in also a blog post format, video, and sometimes even a guide. Uh, ideally, the whole show, the whole video is a guide. I haven't gotten any new chats, and I'm sure. Okay, here, here we go. Would it be okay here for we them go. if we're live, if we're doing this like live view, like at NAB? Would it be okay for them to come up to us? People? Is Paul going to yeah. buy the coffee today? You know that's live, right? Huh. <laughs> I am going to buy. So, the what service today. providers are you utilizing for the live view? We use a solo, and sometimes have difficulty getting bandwidth yeah, in remote areas. We're pretty much doing just AT and T. Uh, we used to have an ATT and a Verizon. But the Verizon uh, died, didn't the Verizon, it? We stopped paying the bill. The Verizon died, so we're back to two AT and Ts. And it's working great. Is it? Nah. Our one AT and T. Hi, Brian. Brian's watching too. Hi, Brian. Oh, it's uh. Brian. Good. How are you? All this stuff. Looks like you have a computer in the backpack as well. Is that right? Uh, no. Yeah. We do not have a computer. It's just uh, the live view encoder. Uh, I can type in a phone number. These NAB show announcements are real. We might be throwing you off with some of them, so that's up for speculation whether they're real or not. Um, this is just testing. Keep that in mind. NDI tools work right now. Yes. Paul is wearing a Negan jacket from Walking Dead. <laughs> is that what he's wearing? I suppose. He's, he's giving me full Johnny Depp vibes. I don't remember. 
thinks I have his PIN card number no memorized. Um, so do you put it in the wrong oh. pen? Do you want me to do it? Always remember these. So he's the one that's supposed to have. I'm supposed to remember it. It doesn't, it doesn't work out this. Oh, okay, there we go. It worked. You got it! Yay! Okay, Alright. So he remembered the pin, guys, don't worry. Always remember oh, your pin. Oh, I didn't, I Just I'm kidding, he did. Just kidding, JK. Okay. Darn it, we thought we were so close. We gotta so, figure that out before Megan's. Yes, we did. So close, but yet so far. Can you pick up something for me while you're at CVS? Who is that? PA Pence. <laughs> How close are you in PA? There we go. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. So this will be an interesting podcast. <laughs> oh, darn. I have the non pareils from Carlina's. My daughter throws a fit. She's like, candy! I'm pretty so, much like uh, that. That's pretty much me. It's so funny, because, like, you know, like, sugar is probably the most used drug in the world. It really is. Okay, we use two Verizon and Whisk and a cellular and another us cellular with Wi Fi. Did I see the device capturing wireless and bringing it into yeah, yeah. Ethernet, Paul? Yes, yes, that's true. So, with uh, the Live View Solo, you can have two USB modems, Wi-Fi, and an uh, Ethernet. So we're using a USB and an Ethernet, and um, the Ethernet solution we're using is the AT&T Nighthawk, which is available from unlimitedirl.com. It is truly unlimited, unthrottled bandwidth. Which is, I think, why we're getting. I mean, we were getting like like nine megabits per second, ten megabits. Paul oh, Pence is in California. Oh, uh, side note, we have a dog. Hi. Uh, side note. <laughs> so, Melissa, when you're wearing that, you are literally the director. Uh, so, yeah. Like, anyone, anything you say, people will hear it incredibly clearly. Oh, I know. And anywhere you point the camera, obviously it goes. So, <laughs> I think of you as. Basically, Tess is getting fancy with uh, her. My wife used to work here. Like, Did she really? Yeah. Well, for our next bonus, maybe I'll take one of these. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, no. you're doing a good job, Uh Like, when you see something cool <laughs> that, like, Tess and I don't see, you have to be like, guys, like, look over there. Hey, Stuart, uh, thanks for joining us. Hi, Stuart. No, I got sidetracked by a dog. We got lunch today. Oh. House yeah, tomato. Delish salads. Couch potato. This is where they're having all the construction. They're building a little, uh, a, they're building a large, a rather large kind of town center shopping, dining. I thought it was like a park. It's like a courtyard with shops and restaurants. Yeah, really nice restaurant. Obviously, businesses. It's going to bring a lot of uh, business to the area. So. This is the. I, I, I want this place for screen peaks. What, the skate shop? Our, our broadcast right in there with the. Oh, yeah. With the skate shop? But that place is so iconic in town, it'll never be available, will it? Let's take a lot of business, and I don't want them to. No. They never would move, obviously. No, that, that's a prime location with those windows. We're Iron Hill. Iron Hill's and good. Oh. We have a brewery. Ooh. We have a brewery in I feel like that's what the world needs, though. Something that makes absolutely no sense. Like an office space in a brewery. That's like um, yeah. a PR They built their office in the office. Really? Because of all the Weekend, doing a little shop, shopping, trading, selling clothing event. Ooh! I am the ultimate thrifter. This so. is where I get my hair cut. Oh, you get it done in there. There's no one even in there. <laughs> I can't see the chat. This road's closed, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that door. There's a four on it. 
141. Here's Cloud. Local vape shop. <laughs> the saloon. Oh, we so have. Oh, really? Someone's going to come into where Landmark used to be? Yeah. I don't know. I, so, I, so they told me and I forgot. It will be. It is a delicious. This, what you're looking at here, is essentially what's behind our office. So all the way down this block is our office. So there will be a new place here. We took them place. all the way around the two main streets of Westchester, PA. Wait, we, we gotta be. We, no. No. Oh, you got us excited. Gonna, this place was recently me. sold. It used to be a popular bar and restaurant in town, and everyone's excited. What is it gonna be? Because it's a huge space. There's well, two floors. The of it, um, he just like he, he didn't tell anyone he was shutting down, not even his employees or anyone. Oh. And then, at the, literally, he went to a, a holiday party, like a, like a New Year's Day party, and just told a few people that he was closing. And then literally January 1st, just locked the door and put a, a sign. And it wasn't even a big sign. Just remember, it was just like, Landmark is closed. Just like an 8 and a half by 11. Yeah. And that's it. Wow. And he just left town. What? Yeah. He's not here. He's just gone. He just didn't, doesn't pay. Just everything gone. He left all the alcohol in the bottles, everything. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it sounds like, like it was all a the TVs are still on the wall. Dramatic change. So in, in whatever the transition is with who owns the building, whether it was the original restaurant owner or if it was rented. That that must be an interesting so now, selling point, I guess. To our right at this corner right here is our new courthouse. It's our courthouse over here. So now we're back to the world. You notice that? Ew, but they stopped. Yeah, they didn't paint the did. thing. What is the deal? Yeah, I saw that. Did you? Did they paint the door? They paint like three quarters. So now we're going to go back and see Mike. Oh, it's nice and warm. Oh, it is warm. All right, so our goal is to... Here, let, me, let me get in front of you. So our goal is to do all of everything we just did, right? Back to the studio and then to the podcast. In fact, now that I think about it, hey Mike, yes. maybe we should we should just get ready. We should get set up in the podcast. Oh, yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah. And, and then we have our call? lovely producer back here. All right. So, cool. All right, let's set it up. All right, so we're gonna go to the, the podcast. What'd you say? Cops are coming for you. What are you talking about? I'm kidding. You can almost. You almost Let me get my have. computer. All right. So. Mainly designed for LinkedIn live streaming, mm -hmm. um, so that is coming soon. But that this is Studio Two. Studio here. Two, and then we have Studio Three right here. And this is technically Studio Three, which is our lovely podcast. All right, so we're here. so now it's time. It Could you shut the stream off on this live view? Um, I'm assuming Mike did. No, can you take the unit out of the backpack oh. and turn it off? Oh, okay, yeah, good point. That way we always have fresh drinks right before. You guys like Mama that, Mama huh? needs an afternoon caffeine to get through the evening with my four-year-old. <laughs> Turn this down just a uh, Yeah, there we go. All right. Now this so. is a Perrier commercial. <laughs> Voila. Voila. <laughs> C'est magnifique. You're crazy. Over. All right. And we got you Me. a soda. Oh, thank you. Does that really count as soda? That's a it's a mini it's car rail. It's carbonated bubble water. It's carbonated Bubbly. water. It helps your tummy. I don't like anything carbonated. Hello I don't and welcome to the PTC Opus podcast. Probably for the best. Just kidding. Hello, hello. hello. Whew, Mike. Right, Mike's in the house. Yep. Whew. 
All, All right. right. You guys ready? Ooh. Let's do it. Goodness. Oh, my battery's low. Battery low for, uh, for your laptop. Hello and welcome to the Stream Geeks podcast. Today is the release of the Accelerated Broadcast Club curriculum. Plus, we're all heading out to Vegas in a little bit for NAB. Welcome to the Post Show Podcast with your hosts, Paul Richards, Tess Protesto, and Michael Luttermoser. Let's talk shop. And then me. Welcome, welcome. And <laughs> Melissa <laughs> here as well. <laughs> Melissa is our amazing intern that has been with us for a couple months now. It's been like 50 something days. You joined and then we immediately said, you know what? We're bringing this girl to Vegas. We need her help. <laughs> and you've never yeah. been, right? Yes, I've never been to Vegas. Never been to Vegas. First time ever. <laughs> Why are we even going there? So the National Association of Broadcasters show, the wor- the, literally the world's largest live streaming and broadcast show is happening. And we're excited to be going. And, uh, you know, that's the gist of it. We're really excited about it. And um, I think that the Accelerated Broadcast Club curriculum book that we just announced is going to be f- available for free mm-hmm. on Shit. Kindle. And also on our website, ptzoptics.com slash abc2 to get a free download. I saw a bunch of people already did that today, so I hope you enjoy it. Merci beaucoup. It's a, a very, very... Well, as soon as Tess has Perrier, she's like speaking French. Oui. <laughs> je, je suis français. <laughs> My roommate would be very proud. Merci. So Michael and I worked really hard on that, not just... Um, the book but the preparing of the online course that comes with it so you know one of the things i've learned over all of this stuff is that nobody likes to read anymore but it really is the best way to put down on paper xyz this is something i think we need to learn about from a from a brainstorming perspective from a writing perspective a project perspective the book was written so that was like kind of the jumping off point And uh, then Michael and I worked together to record the tutorials, videos in a curriculum that's available online. So that's a huge plus. And then from there, uh, now here we are going to the world's largest broadcast club, broadcast show in the world. A lot of schools are going to be there. So we're giving away free books and anyone online can get the book for free at ptzoptics.com slash abc2. And then we were like on that little, little treadmill. We're like, let's keep going. Let's keep going. And we released, as far as I know, the only robotic computer programming uh, codes available for cameras. So robotic cameras. Um, so those robotics clubs out there. In fact, one of our uh, viewers, our awesome uh, viewers and kind of uh, group members, Kyle Gunderman, not only is he in charge of the broadcast club, but he's in charge of the robotics club. So a lot of times there's a lot of like... Jack of all trades. Jack of Mm -hmm. all trades there. And so Kyle has a PTZ Optics camera. I know that he he won a camera on the Mm -hmm. show. Maybe more than one. Yeah, I know he's won a few things. He's won a whole studio. (laughs) Yeah, he's got enough to... to, He won a bunch of things being a a fan and, and someone who watches the show quite a bit. And we're so excited because... Not only can his robotics club start using some of the computer programming, which also has its own course and documentation, but the I think that the broadcast club can really learn uh, from the book and the course. And the thing is with with, with schools and a broadcast club in spe- specific is that you might have like you might be really excited about the broadcast club 2019, and then 2020 20 comes around 2020, and it's all new students, and now you have to. As a teacher, get excited about the same thing over and over again. So by taking the learning offline, so many schools are doing this. It's called flipped classroom, Mm -hmm. blended learning. Get that really great produced course online. Let the students learn at their own pace at home, watching the videos. And then when they come to class, the students are the one bringing the questions. The students are the ones excited about something that they just learned at home on their own pace, digested it in their own way. And then when they get to school, it's a much more collaborative learning environment. So that's like proven. Mm-hmm. And so that's the way we've, uh, we're have we moving forward with our accelerated broadcast club curriculum and our computer robotics programs at the same time. And I think there's a lot of really cool stuff going on. In fact, I'll tell two stories about schools that are doing amazing things. One 
is the Palmetto Tigers. Ring a bell, Tess? Palmetto Tigers? Chad Wilpitz. Chad Burton. Chad Burton. Yes. Close. So you got Chad right. Close, last year, so far away. surprisingly, the sorry, Chad Wilpitz. The 2018 Streaming Awards, uh, the Palmetto Tigers won for their school sports, high school sports broadcast. They won the best, best uh, ever. They won. They won yeah, best first streamer place. of the year. Best streamer of the year, mm -hmm. and there is a. They won a PTC Optics camera. And one of the kids in the program is highly computer savvy, and he wrote a computer program to control the PTZ Optics camera with an Xbox controller using Python. And I was like, whoa, like, can you tell me more? And I'm working with them now, and I said, hey, look, you know, this is really cool. I love that you wrote the code, but can you write some documentation? Like, can you write this code in a way that another student could take it and what's called fork the program, right? So there's there's forking and there's also branching. Mm -hmm. And I was like, can you write it so that like now- Why wouldn't it be forking and spooning? Because <laughs> they, they decided they don't want, like spooning is just has another <laughs> connotation to it. They decided to keep that, especially when you're talking about programmers, they get a little bit, uh, you know, they get a little uh, touchy with the wording. So so yeah, so there's four, so, and let me explain it by the way, just so everyone understands. So. Forking is like you're taking open source code, like you go to PTZ Optics GitHub, this is GitHub terminology, and you say, I like the, and hopefully this will happen with the Paul Meadows Tiger Xbox computer program. Say, I like that program, but I want to make it my own. I want to change it. I'm going to fork it. And then uh, you can just basically take it and it, you got this exact copy of all of that code. Now you can change it and do what you want. Now, if you'd like to branch it, Mate, you can make a pull request and you can say, hey, I want to make your program better. I want to request to take your programs, change them, right? Edit the code, update them, mm -hmm. change them, whatever, and then make a commit. And you go back to the person you've made a pull request from. You say, hey, look, check it out. Here's all the things that changed. GitHub shows you a change report. It's called version control. And then you go, wow, I like these changes. Um, I'm going to commit them to the repository so that that person just contributed to the code that you own. So they didn't fork it. They, they just made a pull request and kind of branched off. Mm -hmm. And now it comes back into the main code because it's accepted as like an approved, you know, working code. Hmm. Couple comments from the chat that are worth noting here. First off, thank you, Larry, who just says I finished your program in course like last weekend. Paul, great oh, job! Wow. Thank you. Oh, nice. Couple questions or concerns about the download link. Okay. It's not working, or people aren't receiving it after filling out the form. I'm assuming on ABC two. Um, let me do a test right now and double we'll check. We'll do a little test. So we fork it and then we branch it and then we, we finish things off by stumping it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna really quickly go ahead and test this to make sure that it works. You hit the download button. Oh my gosh. Thanks for submitting the form. That's all we'll have with you. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> I am so sorry. Uh, I thought I fixed that. So basically I will send an email to everyone that submitted the you, form. Yeah, you can create a it's list based off of that. And I'll get everybody the, the book. I'm so sorry about yeah, that. Job. He just wanted your personal information. It's all a trick. Oh my God. You had I one job, so Paul. so bad right now. <laughs> you had one job. Just kidding. Actually, let's talk about the show today while I fix that because I, gotta, I feel so bad right now. I'm going to fix it right now. Okay. So what you basically uh, missed, those of you who are listening on the podcast, we just did some initial testing for NAB show, which we'll be attending next week for our IRL stream. Go ahead. We had uh, our second successful IRL stream. So we've yeah. been testing it out a lot. And uh, and it's and it was much better from last time. Yes. yes. So we had the mount backwards, so we didn't have full range of That's it. That's right. We weren't able, so the camera's a little wonk. So it was yeah. more tilted one way instead of like now, like we had it today and it was actually straight. Yeah. So. And didn't didn't job. didn't you like tell us to take a picture of it? Yes. Yeah. We yeah. Did. yeah. So we took a picture of it, so we know so for what the, to do for the for podcast that. listeners. And by the way, I fixed the the download link ptzoptics.com slash abc two. It'll get there now. Um, okay. I believe you're forgiven in the chat. Thank you. So sorry. <laughs> um, 
so for the podcast listeners, what we did today is pretty cutting edge, especially for amateurs. Let's call ourselves. We're not the professional broadcasters, <laughs> although we're working our, our way up, right? We're getting there. So we've got a really nice studio and it's got eight cameras. We run vMix there. We're streaming that not to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. We're streaming it to the cloud and to the cloud, we can then also stream our live view solo pack at the same time and then switch between those two to give us like a really awesome ability to go from the studio to anywhere. And that's really kind of what happens in television a lot of times where they're in their studio, they're broadcasting, and then they've got a television truck and they cut to the reporter, right? So that's sort of what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. um, really great quality too. I think the quality really turned out good. Then we decided, we've been doing that for a couple of years now, um, but we also decided to start putting more and more of our graphics in the cloud. So Michael was able to switch the graphics up, do picture in picture, start showing uh, supporting media. And I don't know what you guys think in the chat, but uh, I think it looked pretty darn good. And uh, gives us the ability when we're running around NAB next week to display information about our next giveaway or the next show that's coming up. And I'm interested in taking notes from you guys about if more information needs to be put on there, but there's a good amount in the I graphics. I have to look through the whole MP4, but yeah. besides the giveaway, that was the one thing, but you the added one it. one giveaway, yeah. Okay. Add the giveaway. It kind of keeps everybody in the loop. So like you're watching our stream, but like you don't know when the next thing is or when the next show is. Graphic. You know who the up. next speaker Sprinkler is. is. Yeah. You know, you know what I'd really like is some social media integration. Like to show like right on thing in the cloud. That'd be really cool. Oh, you mean from the, from Easy Live? Yeah, I think like I was Vid, gonna say, cause Vid Prezo could do that. The way we're doing that with the MP4, you wouldn't be, have real time social media. It's almost like media. VMix social yeah, in, in, the cloud. in the cloud. In the cloud. Yeah. yeah. It should be crazy. Because everything's turning into the cloud now. Everything is, I know. there, And that's a, I've had that conversation where you got to have a computer on site to really do the, the zero latency streaming yeah. and switching and everything. Mm -hmm. And then other people say, well, you know, it can all be done in the cloud. Eventually, you know, technology will get there. Yeah. So it's an interesting, it's an interesting conversation, but we've talked a lot about how excited we are for this giant tech show. Uh, me and Melissa <laughs> are leaving Friday. Mm -hmm. I have to like shrink cause the camera is not far enough up. And Tess and Michael are leaving Saturday. Right and early. So Being our PJs on the plane. PJs on the plane. Only way to fly. No, yeah. PJs on the plane is fantastic because you're nice and like comfortable and you're not like constricted or anything like that. <laughs> Don't be surprised if I'm wearing PJs on the plane. I might be surprised. Why? <laughs> I guess I can't be surprised now because you told me. With our it's coffees, gonna, no, it's going to be so Nightmare I, Before Christmas PJs. I still Maybe might get. Mimosa. I'll still probably be a little bit surprised. Like no put it, you say. put sweatpants on. Like you don't have to look professional. I already have thing. my um air, airport outfit picked out. I haven't gotten that far yet. I think I don't think most people think about like actually prepare an, uh, well, an outfit. Well, when you pretend the, that I, you're Beyonce, like I do, I just kind <laughs> I just kind of wake up and just put the clothes on and just like. <laughs> Just so it's like, all right, I'm in sweats on a plane. That's fine. At least there's no snakes on a plane, right? You never know. You never know. <laughs> like that guy that brings this alligator. Or no, he it was a service alligator. So he's allowed a service to service alligator. On yeah. Well, once you put like a vest on an animal and say it's an emotional support or like a service really? animal, no one can touch emotional it. Emotional support. Yeah. Wow. Don't bring your baby gator to Vegas. Can you make your husband an emotional support person? <laughs> Just put him on your lap. Like, sorry, Paul. I need to bring my husband with me every day to work. He's my emotional support. Hey, do what you do, Tess. Uh, that funny. might work for Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. So um, what are we thinking about here? So the show went really well. We transitioned seamlessly. By the way, guys, everyone deserves a pat on the back here because we went from... The studio. I didn't do much. Which, uh, well, you showed up. That's half the battle. Okay. All right. I'm in credit. <laughs> so we started in the studio. We went on a walk. We got some drinks. It's actually a really, it's so funny because I think to viewers, it looks like la-di-da, going to get some drinks, coming back, going to do a podcast. But literally, I know at least for me, it's, it I'm still like almost every show a little bit on edge. I'm like, is this all going to work? Is this all going to mm -hmm. work? Because we keep on adding like one more layer. It's like Inception. It's yes. like, 
going one more layer. See, and see, this is why we just have to just like once you make the show, just keep it that way. Don't add anything. Never. Yeah, but you we must be new here. Yeah. We don't do that. What are you talking about? Like, oh, I know. But there's sometimes where it's like you add things like last minute, and last I'm just minute, yeah. This and, is getting deep and emotional now. And I'm just like, you're stressing me out, Paul. Yep. I swear, it's Mike, not going to work. Michael feels that way too. Although Michael's kind of gotten ready to roll with the punches because this, like, I would think five minutes left. I was like, hey, Mike, I think I'm going to start the show like over here. Is that cool? Michael's like, yes. <laughs> Reluctantly. See, just it, another day in the core, you know, lock and load. Like, no, got to be ready for anything. No, yeah. it's it's kind of like um, that meme that I saw on the internet of you and... Uh, you and Mike, mm -hmm. with like what I think I look like on camera, what it looks like to be producing, what it actually <laughs> looks like. Yes. And like Mike's hat's up in like. Um, yeah. Comment from Ted recap on how and where you're adding the graphics while you're doing your IRL. So. Yes. That's so that's the that's the new kind of cool stuff. Um, for a long time. So we're using Easy Live in the cloud to do the graphics and um, we're streaming two RTMPs to it. We've been doing for the longest time like a PNG file. Yeah. Like, all right, we got a video feed. Let's just put a PNG file on there. Yes. Boom. And we're like, done. And it works. And yeah. it works. And, and we did, <laughs> it just works. And we did yeah. that too. Didn't we do yeah. that today? It's not to yeah. be yeah. discounted. Yeah. So it's great. And then, you know, I was just starting to think about it and I was just like with my sketchbooks, I had some time at home and I was just like, hmm sidebar would be great and then like a little bottom area and then i'm just like drawing this out i'm like the best way to do this would be like an mp4 so that way like the information is just like moving and i used i built by the way i'm a little bit proud of the way that i use this i keep just like showing it off the test I'm like i know take a does. look at this test look how cool this is but basically i built it all in photoshop with a perfect 16 by 9 area because i know the video is going to go on top eventually and then um whole probably a hundred layers if not more of 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 information but it's only shown in like a carousel like mm -hmm. 10 seconds new information 10 seconds nice and slow it's not like anything too crazy i put some after effects shine on it so it starts in photoshop it goes to adobe after effects it's rendered into an mp4 it's uploaded into the cloud finally when the live rtmp stream is connected to the cloud it is then placed on top of the prepared media. It looks like Tess is very confused. <laughs> She's like, what? It's a lot. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like what afternoon caffeine. It's just as like, what just happened? Well, I was when I was even as I was saying it, I was like, yeah, that's it. It's quite a few many steps there. But the end result is that what's mat what matters. That it comes mm -hmm. out. And, and it's those MP4 files that literally the entire audience can look at that and go, oh, this is what they're streaming on Monday at this time, Tuesday, Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday. Oh, these are the product announcements. Yeah. Our audience today may or may not have gotten a couple. We're early saying that this was a test, so there's no telling what was strategically placed there or what's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are so good at covering things up, Tess. That PR class, yeah, that I took that one time. It's <laughs> one die, one shady, shady one hundred and one. <laughs> <laughs> Call it what you will. So, uh, oh, by the way, um, I just want to drop some extra things that uh, we're not allowed to talk about, just because it's fun. That's what you do. So the ult <laughs> the ultra music festival was this weekend, and I noticed that. Dead Mouse Five was live streaming, nice. yeah. and I remember speaking to Dead Mouse and his crew about how we're not allowed to talk about him using our cameras until after Ultra. Oh, okay. Today's the day after Ultra. All right, let's talk about it. So, it does actually really tie into all this stuff in a weird way because, so Dead Mouse Five is pretty much the most famous DJ in the world, which is pretty amazing mm -hmm. that he went through a lot he's very particular about his tech and he basically built a cube mm -hmm. that is like it's his baby and it's so funny like if, I don't know if you read the interviews with him about this thing but it's like him like saying how badass he is because he pays for all of it 
Mm-hmm. Like he bought the cube. He bought the, the PTZ Optics cameras inside the cube, mm-hmm. the LED screens, everything. And he goes and says, like, look, like all the money that I make for being a DJ, I put back into the show to make it an amazing show. So in 90 minutes, Smart. when people see this, they're freaking out. And then he also talks about how he codes everything. Like he's like, I'm not like, he's like, he said most every other DJ is all rendering all their graphics beforehand and after effects and then just spraying it on a screen. Apparently all of his um, graphics are done live with code. So if he needs to change something, he can just edit a line of code. And his what? whole his whole mm-hmm. theme with his um, new cube is, is very Cody. Yeah. It's like 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 the, the the intro just you hear typing and then a click, you hear like a click and then you hear typing and then it's just like dead mouse open and then sl- it's all code like slash open video start and then all these like codes go over. Now of course some of this stuff is graphically yeah. pre produced. He really is full of himself. <laughs> I mean, I like the guy, but he's like, I am like literally doing all of this, like because I like not not to make money at all, just to like you know, give back to the dear children who are paying two hundred dollars a ticket to see me, you know, every weekend. But I don't even know why. You got to give him some credit. No, I'm though. giving him all the credit too. I'm just saying, in like the, in the interviews, he says the f word the whole time, and he's talking about how like everyone should be doing it this way. But are you saying that like he's coding while he's performing? Is that what you're no, saying? No, he codes before he performs. Okay, because I'm so, like, why? And what I'm getting at, because he is really amazing, and I'd love to meet him, um, is that he coded into his programs how to control the PTZ Optics cameras. So he used our computer programming stuff. Mm -hmm. So as the computer programming and robotics course as it exists today will be added onto with case studies. So Palmetto Tigers, where there's a student there using Python to interact with a live joystick controller to control these cameras, pretty advanced. We're gonna have a tutorial on that. Uh, Where me and Mike, and we might bring Tessa and Melissa. I don't know. Depends on. Well, see, depends on it, how how well they're doing. Um, we're going to go backstage the Dead Mouse Five concert, and we're going to interview Joel about you know how do you have this set up. In fact, in preparation for that, by the way, Mike, I was going to have Brian mm-hmm. read the interviews of what's been posted so far. Smart. There's been some, like the Miami Herald interviewed him and they posted like, he's using Touch Designer, mm-hmm. he's using um, Artnet, and because he's very, he's, he's it's in the interviews, it's very clear that like he wants people to know that he's coding this himself and this is the tech he's using and this is why. And he, sol- he even said in the interview, I, I don't know if you, I posted it in Slack, he literally was like, and it was no big deal to even add camera controls into our program. Like, nice. He was like bragging nice. about it. So um, it would be very sh- interesting. Well, but it shows what we can do. It shows like what PTZ Does Optics he mention the brand? No. That's, oh. So how many uh, cameras did Joel get? Four. He's got, got four. four cameras. What type three, of cameras? Three in the cube. 12 X SDI cameras. One is, I think, a spare just in case one goes down while they're live or on the show. So he's got three cameras. And the way that they built the cube, it's so giant that most people can't actually see him. Mm -hmm. Um, So the only way that the people can see him is through the cameras. Nice. So, And he was supposed to go live at 2 a.m. on Saturday night on Facebook. I slept through it, and I couldn't find it on Facebook. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I don't know. Check YouTube. I see deleted it. I don't know. I do not know, but I saw a picture from it, and I saw VMix, and I saw the cameras. I posted it, and uh, it's just interesting when you open yourself up to computer programming the way that we have with our API and our programming and our documentation and all of that. It leads to you know de- all kinds of people programming, yeah. mm-hmm. um, and we've been doing that for years now. Dead so Mouse case study coming soon. Yes. There so you go. Watch we out. Can, we it. can finally announce it. Like we can finally yeah. start talking about it. Yeah, we'll have to do whole shows on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Frank in the chat on YouTube says, "Can you recommend an, any other cloud-based streaming software?" That's- yes, there is one that I have to recommend because I would feel bad if I didn't. There's one called Go uh, Go Easy Dot Live. Just kidding. <laughs> That's the one we're using. There's one called I think it's called Go Light Stream dot com and lightstream dot live type in go light stream and it's free it's completely free um so check it out mm-hmm. that's all i'm gonna say such a gem Stu grubbs is the ceo he's coming on our show 
When is he coming? Tuesday of NAB. Really? Yeah. Not on this show. At right. NAB right. on the right. esports on the main panel. Stage. Oh, panel. Right. <laughs> don't so. don't be adding that stuff on us so quickly, Paul. <laughs> yeah, I, and I, 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 I added another it's like, uh, present for the show. It's like jeez. Now entering, <laughs> it's like. So, so that's about it. Michael has this. Cra- Do you want to set, tell your crazy plan for a 2020 ultra, or should we save that in our back pocket? Oh, let's let's definitely save that. Yeah. yeah. So, ultra 2019 is in the books. Uh, we didn't get down there in time. Are you saying you're not sure if you're taking Melissa and I to that plan? Is that what you're saying? I'm not sure. What is this like a bro thing? Well, well, because so Michael and I have been working on some really cool stuff that you know we're just trying to see how many how much space is available. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, see, see, Tess, we got to go on our own trade show, so it's without these two. We're not going no. on a trade show. No. All right. Here, I'll tell you guys. All right. When it comes to backstage, Dead Mouth show, you guys can come. Okay. <laughs> maybe you can come with us. <laughs> yeah. Maybe me and Tess goes, and you guys, we decide if you guys come. Well, first of all, like Michael and I are the only ones. That, all right, fine, you're not coming. <laughs> Isn't Pat the true liaison? Uh, yeah, Pat is. Early. So we'll see who Pat picks. Okay, okay. No, it's fine. We're all going. We're um, September, September 21st. I thought it was January. 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 January 21st, that's Philadelphia, but Michael and I are going to see if we can go earlier to another show maybe in the East Coast somewhere, just in case, just so we can like maybe go to both or in case B-roll. You could probably find them in case like- study. Case study. Study. You could probably find him either in like Philly. In he's like, going to be in Philly. In January, Philly, January twenty first. Um, you could probably find him in Candom, and um, New Jersey. Candom. Yeah, Candom, New Jersey. Camden. <laughs> Camden. Whatever. It sounded like condom. No, when you said that. I did not. You could, probably, you could find him in a condom. Traditionally located inside condoms. Maybe, you know, maybe Miami. You know, like around that one place Miami. that's usually around. All right. Anyway. Anywho, let's wrap it up. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, then we get that. Oh. <laughs> I just got it. Jeez, my All right. That was good. For everyone that uh, downloaded the book and did not get a copy, I'm going to send out a, a sorry email with my with my tail in between my legs. <laughs> this is getting awkward at the moment. And we'll just uh, yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining. See you at NAB. All right. Dream Later. Bye. You were horrible. I'm gonna turn off the uh, stream from here. Recording? No, we're still streaming. I'm gonna. I it's think I can turn it off from here. Not the streaming, the recording. Of the audio. Why? Because the podcast is over. Let me just turn it off so we don't have to worry. I can just log right in here. No, I meant the recording. Did you do all Audacity? Oh.